Prudential Center here in Newark as we get set for the 126th all-time meeting between these two teams. Let's check out tonight's starting goaltenders for the Hurricanes. Anton Hudobin, outstanding. Played well enough to win the game, did not. 30 saves, 1-0 loss at New York on Sunday night. Their team defense is number 19. Corey Schneider has been the workhorse. He had 17 saves and a 4-0 loss here against Washington on Saturday night. Their team D is number 22. Bill Peters thought much of the problem against the Rangers in terms of generating offense occurred from the back end, getting the puck up the ice. He'll have to do that tonight against Peter DeBoer, good friend of his, and back of that New Jersey bench. They're coming off a shutout. They were done. Dominated by Washington here Saturday night. His team has been ravaged by injury and illness right now, and they're just looking to scrap it together here with 11 forwards and seven defensemen. 21-year-old Victor Rask will face off against 35-year-old Scott Gomez. Sit back and enjoy this one. And Mr. Gomez is celebrating his 35th birthday today as the Devils get it all the way back in the Carolina zone. Ron Hainsey turns it over. Yarmir Yager is there for the Devils out of the corner. In control. He'll wind it off the shin guards of Mike Camilleri, who returns from injury tonight. Carolina back out to center ice. Fed along by Elias Lindholm. This way, Victor Rask looking for Jeff Skinner. He's checked by John Merrill. Zitlitsky on Lindholm, and now Rask in support for the Hurricanes. All alone, Yager can't handle it. Worked along here by Andre Sakara. Sakara goes to work. He'll center one in the skates of Rask and right through the goal crease. Sakara hunts it down for Carolina. Andre Sakara on the flank, on and off the stick of Victor Rask. He's given a shove at the defense that time by Merrick Zidlitsky as Sakara's shot deflects wide. Well, one of our game keys is going to be the defenseman jumping in right from the get-go, being part of the attack, whether it be on the rush or on the forecheck. Sakara was there. John Merrill hands it off to Mike Camilleri out to center ice. Travis Zajac never saw it. Eric Stahl did, and you see it come all the way back in the Devils' zone. Shot taken from the flank. Good stop by Corey Schneider. The opportunity that time for Chris Terry, and now Michael Ryder, the veteran, will get it out. You need somebody driving the net there. That was a lively rebound from Schneider, who played extremely well in Raleigh. Mikhail Jordan is back in Carolina's lineup tonight after sitting out healthy on Sunday. Adam Henrique, Michael Ryder of Hudobin. Andy Green forces the issue in back of the goal. Henrique all the way back. Here's Peter Harold. His shot goes wide of a screen to Hudobin. Getting to it is Andy Green. Inside on a cycle, Michael Ryder to the point, covering up Zajac. Inside, skate to stick, Henrique. Back to the point. Peter Harold to the outside. His shot off the pad of Hudobin. Harold stays with it, given a shove by Eric Stahl. Travis Zajac pinning on a pass. Ryder, top of your screen, had it punched out by Eric Stahl, and the Hurricane survived. Ryder was a healthy extra on Saturday here for the Devils against Washington. That was a tough line change from the Carolina defense, which led to that initial chance. John Michael Lyles forced by Steven Gianta. Steve Bernier along the boards, tied up by Carolina's Ron Hainsey, former Hurricane Tuomo Rutu grinding on this line. Bernier to the outside. Off the shin guard of Hainsey, Jelena this way. Adam Larson with a shot off net, caught by Anton Hudobin. Let's take a look at the Rex Express Care injuries and scratches. Rex Healthcare, chosen for excellence. Well, the big one is that Alex Salmon, after coming back Sunday against the Rangers, is now a uh, victim of that reoccurring upper body injury, so he's back out. That's really too bad. Jordan Stahl, we'll see him after the holiday. Toulouse and Nestor Schill not on the trip. Brett Belmore, the healthy extra tonight for Carolina, New Jersey. 130 man games lost. They've yes. been ravaged by injuries, just as a point of comparison. The Hurricanes at 95, and the mumps is really hitting the Devils. Most recently now, Marty Havlat and Patrick Eliash who they suspect may have it. You don't know for a few days after the testing, and they're having that testing period right now. Jordan Tutu, a shot taken here by Adam Henrique, is handled by Anton Hudobin, and no further play. Well, you have to be able to find a light moment, even when things are tough. I mean, that's a big part of keeping a positive attitude. And Anton Hudobin was by far Carolina's best player at Madison Square Garden. Yesterday at practice, we all saw him having trouble get off the ice. And David Marcoux at the end of practice yesterday said, Anton, you got to stay out for one more drill. And Anton was upset about it. He lined him up at the hash marks. He said, OK, sprint. You've got to see if you can get over the wall. <laughs> the reason he had trouble getting over the wall, John, was because he was coming off, and then they said, no, no, you got to stay because right. of where the puck was. Right. And then he went, he tried to get over the boards with a different leg than he typically goes with, and it was 
it was actually pretty darn fun. Well, everybody can have a chuckle, which most did, as Boychuk brings it along, and so did he as it goes by Zach Boychuk all the way back for Andre Sakara, but he stopped his momentum. With all that gear on, everybody else try it. Now, Yager, handing on a pass defended by Justin Falk. Jeff Skinner in control for the Hurricanes. They wind it up. Heady play from Victor Rask. Falk got caught up the ice and with a straight A to B play, improved skating. That prevents a two on one. Adam Henrique now for the Devils. Pinching in. John Michael Lyles right in on Corey Schneider, who handles that one easily. Adam Larson, who's back from the mumps, can't get it out. Victor Rask, wide of Schneider, loose in back of the goal. Sent it out in front, frozen by Corey Schneider. We get a stoppage of play. Let's take a look at tonight's Storm Tracker, our game keys. Well, let's take a look. Here they come. Pay the net front price. That was a big, big part of practice yesterday. I have already talked about defensemen joining the attack. You just can't score in this league in this day and age without it and fully engaged before the break. You can't go on hiatus before the hiatus starts. The Rangers did an excellent job of playing with the lead by their defensemen, continuing to join on the attack, and you should learn from that because they went to the finals last year. Three days off without practice after this one. The next game will be at Tampa Bay on Saturday night. You can see it right here, starting with Hurricanes Live at 6.30. Travis Zajac to the outside, holding onto it out in front. Cleaned up by Ron Hainsey ahead of Michael Ryder. Lyles turns in his own zone, sets up Hainsey. Hard pressed by Zajac, now Ryder to the outside. Michael Ryder asserts, he centers one off a skate. Corralled here by Chris Terry, and away they go. Nathan Gerby will feed it deep in the New Jersey zone. A good look at Andy Green on Chris Terry. Green hard pressed, four checked by Nash. Gerby takes over. Andy Green for the Devils gets it back, and away they go. Steve Bernier lays it ahead. Lays the body on Justin Folk, he'll stay with it. Riley Nash back checking for Carolina. Feathering along the wall for Chris Terry. He'll go off on a line change and roll it in. I talked to Riley Nash this morning and you know he hasn't scored. In Here's a, while. a turnover, maybe a chance. And it's punched wide by Brad Malone. Patrick Dwyer holding on with side of the goal. Another chance goes wide. Malone again, who's been playing well. And a penalty is called up top. And the back official, Paul Dvorsky, and Riley Nash told me, he said that he thought his game really, take a look at Pete DeBoer, the head coach of the Devils. Riley told me, he said, I I'm thinking too much. I have to have composure to try to make plays. And he felt that started to really turn in his favor in New York. And here, he creates the first power play of the game. So good for Riley Nash. Brad Malone following him up. And Hurricanes only had the one power play in the first period at Madison Square Garden. Eric Jelena in the box. Carolina's power play checks in at number 18, number 14 on the road. The Devils struggling on the kill, number 27 and 16th best here at home. Carolina two out of 15 in the last five with their power play. Big scrum in the corner as we see Nash winds it along for Falk. He'll walk the line, bring it this way. Shrug off a man. He was held up a bit by Tim Sestito. Now Nathan Gerby from the half wall. Lindholm, power move, good stop by Corey Schneider. A loose puck, Chianta hustles. Nash has it, peppered by Sestito and brought out of the zone by Andy Green. I'm excited about this start for Riley Nash. I mean, he's simply going back to college. Historically, he's been a slow start. He just gets better and better. And, and so far this season, it's been the reverse, but these are encouraging signs. Through center ice, Victor Rask. Along the boards, Nathan Gerby. Lindholm is camped out. Rask holding onto it. Little sweep check from Zajac, and now Gerby up top. Falk looks it over here. It comes wide. Lindholm stopped by Schneider. Second chance blocked by Green. They work it around the clock. Falk with a shot. Off a tip. Knocked down. Corralled by Andy Green. They kill time. Elias Lindholm, just determination to get to the front of the net. And he's going to truly get back on track. He's had some points of late. He has to get to that area. One of our game keys. He did it very well there. Canes still have some time in the power plays. We see Skinner out of the corner. Mike Camilleri goes to work on him. Skinner stays with it. At the point, route two for Mike Camilleri. He'll feather the puck all the way back in the Kane zone. McCall Jordan back first ahead of the veteran. Camilleri, route two, sweeps in. Eric Stahl now with a final push. Jordan told me, watching from the press box at Madison Square Garden, a big learning tool. He's got up more time than he thinks he does. John Michael Lyles to the outside. Off the end wall, top of your screen, Chris Terry. Saucer pass, skate to stick. Jordan holding onto it. It deflects in, captured by John Merrill. And that'll just about do it. Yeah, Jordan goes for a line change. He says it's a real learning tool upstairs. 
or he watched uh, as a healthy extra that you don't think you have more time, but you have about an extra split second. Two shots in the power play for Carolina. Jay McClement out of the corner. Holding on to it. He'll wind it up again. Gleason flashing on a change. Now Hainsey to the outside. Off the body, off Zidlitsky. Top of your screen and back out to the center zone. Gleason ahead of Gomez. Jay McClement now for the Hurricanes. Sends it back for Ron Hainsey. And they start again. 12.40 left. Period one. Scoreless here at the Rock. It goes inside for McClement. Seth Helgelson is on him. As they go to the corner, Gomez tries to dig it out. Now it's played here by Adam Henrique. Dwyer tied up by Gomez. Out of the scrum, Brad Malone for Carolina. This way for Gleason. Gleason now sends it deep. Patrick Dwyer grinding a cycle. Poked along by Gomez. Held in by Andre Sakara. Sakara turns. Henrique is on him. He gets away. He sets up Falk. Justin Falk. Inside it goes Dwyer. Out in front between the wickets of McClement. And all the way back out. Brad Malone's game continues to come. Sakara again getting involved. But not just getting involved. He's actually making plays at the offensive blue line. Victor Rask, an easy chance here for Corey Schneider. will step aside. 11.56 left to go in a scoreless first. We're back inside the Rock. Final game before the holiday break for the Carolina Hurricanes and the New Jersey Devils. And a great moment tonight, it always is. First NHL game for Brendan Woods. So he plays Sunday for Charlotte, and that was the, the Checkers' last game before the break. So he went and drove to Washington, D.C., where his father, Bob, was a coach uh, a few years ago, then an assistant at Bruce Boudreaux in Anaheim, and now the head coach of Saskatoon in the Western League. So he's with his family, and he was told to take his equipment with him just in case. You know, he had a okay. bit of a heads-up from Jeff Daniels, and Ron Francis, Carolina's fine general manager, called, and he was with his parents. How cool is that? That's Put it great. on speaker, and Ron said, what are your plans for tomorrow? He was planning to go to Hershey, uh -huh. where they have family friends, and Ron said, can you make it up to New Jersey? And his parents were on the speaker phone for that moment. Wow. First NHL game. His father, a longtime minor league player, fine coach at every level. And he said it was a, an exciting and emotional moment that they all shared at the same time. That never happens. Usually you don't share those moments with your parents directly at the same time. His dad, Bob, is currently the GM and head coach of Saskatoon of the Western Hockey League, major junior hockey. Last season, and for a long time, the right hand of Bruce Boudreaux in Washington and Anaheim as an assistant coach. Steve Bernier now gets it deep. Patrick Dwyer. Hit hard by Bernier. Out of the corner in his own zone, Dwyer. Bernier has lost his stick. He stays with it. He's held up. Now Bernier got it back. He centers one out in front. Dwyer in control. And Patrick Dwyer slides it through neutral ice and all the way back in the Devil's End. Well, you're absolutely right. In case it's a unique holiday break like that, you're never with your parents when you get called up. And to share that moment with the sacrifices parents make for any young hockey player coming to a head to make the NHL is just something. Yager in the corner. Lays it along for Scott Gomez. Camilleri's out in front. Hainsey on the wing. Brendan Woods. And out he comes. 22 years of age in his first NHL game. He gets after it. He goes hard. He's an energy player. He takes out Peter Harold. To the outside, Andy Green, Carolina, gets to a four check, it's McClement, inside it goes, grinding here is Zach Boychuk, Boychuk to the outside, Woods is out in front, Hainsey with a bid, knocked down by Camilleri, who has it, and away go the Devils, Yager this way for Scott Gomez, he has room, Yager camped out, on and off his stick, Yager stays with it, Gomez centers one, blocked at the D and covered up here by Anton Hudobin. John, I just want to tell a quick story. You know, for me, I only backed up one NHL game. But I remember going out for warm-ups. It was against the Dallas Stars. And I hadn't seen my parents since I got the news from, it. at that time, the assistant general manager, Terry McDonald. And I saw my parents when I was skating around in warm-up. And it just hit me, all the years of their sacrifices. And I started crying behind my mask, uh, you know, during warm-up. I had I'm trouble sure. focusing. Because all my parents, I get a little bit choked up thinking about it right now. All that they had put into that moment. It was, it was, it just all hit me, and for them to share it together is just special. Every hockey parent out there can understand that. Zajac now moves it back. Zedlitsky now in his own zone. Merrick Zedlitsky elevates the puck through center. You see it come back in the Kane zone. McCall Jordan is on it. Just about halfway through period one. Goal is here in Newark as it deflects out of play. And we get a stoppage here. Well, that's a good segue. Let's watch the hockey IQ and improved skating of Victor Rass right there. 
excellent work to find a guy you better find, and that's Mike Camilleri, who's back in the lineup after an assortment of injuries, most recently as grinding. Yesterday in practice, very scary moment. Going to the net, which was a big part of practice, a shot hit Victor, he went to the locker room for a few minutes, then a big applause from his teammates when he returned. I'm just very high. On, on, on Victor for so many reasons about his future. It's the second of four meetings. The Devils and Hurricanes hooked up in Raleigh on the 8th of December. New Jersey won it 2-1 to one on a night where Carolina peppered Corey Schneider with 40 shots. Out to center, Michael Ryder in support. Peter Harold out of Boston College. His shot deflects high over the top of Udobin. Played here at the point by Andy Green. Green now sends it along the wall. Jordan stops ahead of Route 2. Terry now turns it ahead for Stahl, and out they come. You're looking at Tim Gleason. Gleason now takes a shoulder from Jordan Tutu, and it comes all the way back. It's a good sign that the Hurricanes are breaking the puck out cleanly. To hit that weak side defenseman like Stahl hitting Gleason with speed. The neutral ice, Tim Sestito gets to it. It's loose inside the line and picked up here by Ron Hainsey as they go D to D. Shots are 5-1 Carolina, two of those five on the power play. Eric Shelena for New Jersey, had it lost it. Young Adam Larson, a former first round pick, tries to clear ahead. A well, good job as they spring the zone. Here's Jordan Tutu. He'll play it to himself. Tutu busting in on the right side. Shelena lays it ahead for Sestito. Sestito along the boards now. Gets support from Tutu. Jordan Tutu grinds a cycle. Ron Hainsey for Carolina moves it. A pitch by John Merrill. Merrill ahead of Dwyer. They jockey along the boards. 8.33 left in period one. Out of the pileup. Sestito walks it. He centers one. Good stop by Hudobin. Excellent scoring chance right out in front. Camilleri darts again. It deflects, and it stays in play. In the corner, Lyles on Mike Camilleri. Yager picks it up. Little pass for John Merrill. Merrill with a wrister wide of Camilleri looking for the tip. Mike Camilleri hands it off to Yaramir Yager. They grind his cycle again. He utilizes his frame, plays it to himself beautifully. Now it's John Merrill. Merrill's the crowd. Oohs and ahs over that one. Camilleri looking for Yager, broken up by Lyles as the Hurricanes finally get it out. John, just because he's going to be a Hall of Famer, you still have to finish Yarmir Yager with a good body check if you're Riley Nash. Don't allow that toe drag. I mean, he's a big body, but try to knock him off the puck. And he took over the game back in Raleigh a couple of weeks ago, his 1500th NHL game. He had a goal and an assist on the Devils' two scoring chances and two goals that they picked up in that victory. Now it's played here by Justin Falk, read by John Merrill. The Devils might have a three-on-one if they hurry. Travis Ajak to the outside. Riders out in front. There he is. Great back check. Elias Lindholm came all the way back for Carolina. Heck of a play from Lindholm. Merrill starts it. Merrill, who had a tough turnover, turnover to Ovechkin on Saturday, so key play for him. What a straight A to B play by Lindholm. Zajac shrugs off Boychuk. Henrik with a shot stopped by Hudobin to the point. Helgeson now goes deep. Looking for Zajac out of the corner. Adam Henrik. Tries to fight off Zach Boychuk. It's carried out of the zone by Justin Falk. And Carolina was thinking about a change, and now they will. Well, New Jersey, I think, just got away with too many men on the ice. The key, I think, was the player coming on did not play the puck, and I think that's why the call wasn't made. Along the boards, top of your screen, McCall Jordan. Indirect pass. Boychuk lays it along. Here's Jay McClement. McClement pulls up on Green, lays it across for Woods. Rejected by Gianta. The Devils rally back. Bernier, trailer is Gianta. They score! It redirects on the way through, Steven Gianta with a shot from well out, and the Devils strike first. Tough to turn the puck over right inside the offensive blue line. Watch the top left of your screen. I mean, look at all those. The devil's been trying to lure teams into making that play for years. All sorts of bodies, including former Hurricane Tormo Rutu in the shooting lane. The puck goes off of Mikel Jordan, I believe. Changes direction and beats Hudobin on the short side. That's a tough turnover. So that aspect of puck management continues to plague Carolina, costing them on that goal. Steven Gianta redirecting, we believe, off Jordan and in. Camilleri, Hainsey's on him. Yager brings it along. Rolls it out in front. 
Lyles defending for Carolina. And play comes to a halt. Ron Hainsey injured. We'll check that out when we come back. Steven Gianta with his third goal of the season. The Devils by one. In the first period at the Rock, Brendan Woods making his NHL debut. He has 15 family and friends in attendance, including his dad, Bob Woods. Thanks for joining us. I want to talk about you were drafted by the New Jersey Devils, but another throwback moment. Let's go back to the very first time Brendan Woods was on skates. What do you remember about that? Well, I think like most young guys, they spend most of the time going around the glass waving at all the mums. But, uh, you know, I can say one thing about him. That he always wanted to be a hockey player right from day one. You have been coaching at all levels. You won the Calder Cup, and so you know what it takes to have a winning season and be a professional. From a coaching perspective, what does he have to do to crack the NHL and stay here? I think the biggest thing for most young guys is just the consistency. You know, you have to bring it every night and, and just do the little things that it takes to be at this level. And, uh, you know, I think watching him, you know, he's got all the abilities and everything you need. He's just got to try to do it on an everyday basis. Finally, yesterday when you got the news, the whole family was together visiting other family in Washington, D.C. What was the reaction like? Well, it was exciting. You know, I think this is uh, every parent's dream and, and every uh, hockey player to get this opportunity. And uh, to be able to do it tonight is special, especially right before Christmas. Soak it all up. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Back to you, John. Thank you, Chantel. Great moment. I still give a wink to the, I call them the moms, but the moms. <laughs> Gianta to the outside. He'll center one off Anton Hudobin. He has just scored, set up by Steve Bernier and Tuomo Rutu at 13:32. And Hudobin played in the Western Hockey League for Saskatoon, where Bob is now the coach and general manager. And Bob won his Calder Cup in the American Hockey League with the Hershey Bears. Brendan played two years of college hockey at the University of Wisconsin. Out of the corner now. Taking a hit to make a play, John Michael Lyles. Elias Lindholm crunched on the way through that time by Seth Helgeson. And now it's loose in back of the goal. Adam Henrique for the Devils. On the wall, Jordan Tutu. He'll hand it off. Helgeson through center. Chugs over the line, goes wide. Here it comes, leashing out the pad. Anton Hudobin. Mikhail Jordan. Back in his own zone for Victor Rask. He's flushed out a bit, forechecked by Travis Zajac. Now Henrique on and off his stick. Peter Harold at the point. Andy Green goes wide. Arister tipped. Knocked down. Blocked by Gleason. Michael Ryder pinned by Tim Gleason. In the corner, Zajac for New Jersey. Ryder again. Centers one in on Hudobin. No further play. We'll step aside with 3.58 left to go in the opening period. Brendan Woods in his first NHL game. I'm Nathan Gerby, and I want to wish you a happy and safe holiday. Thank you, Nathan. He brings it every night in terms of that determination. He will be in the Twitter lounge tonight with Chantel McKay. Boy, the Boston College Eagles, where Gerby won a national championship, represented in this game, Corey Schneider, a teammate of Gerby's, Peter Harold, and the only goal scorer, Steven Gianta. A tweet of Kane comes your way between periods one and two. PNC Bank first intermission. Yager. Gets free. Harold this way. Peter Harold shakes off Gerby. Centers one in the skates of Yager. And Carolina will escape harm. And here they come. Falk for Nathan Gerby. Over the line. He'll bust in. He's guarded by Mike Camilleri. Andy Green in control. Stolen by Carolina's Eric Stahl. Stahl in the corner. Gomez draped over him. Riley Nash picks it up. Inside for Gerby. He'll dust it off. Send it outside for Stahl. Off a skate. It goes astray. Loose along the boards now. Nathan Gerby pins it deep. Broken up by New Jersey's Andy Green as the Devils attempt to get it out. Held in by Falk. At the line, it's Stahl. Gerby with a shot blocked by his own man, Nash. Second chance off the pad of Schneider as Stahl tries to center. And losing his stick was Peter Harold. But the Devils now reorganize in a penalty upcoming here against Carolina as the stick was ripped out of the hands of Peter Harold. Yeah, bad retaliatory slash call that uh, Paul Dvorsky detected. Carolina gets possession, and they go a man down for the first time tonight. I'm well, not sure if he, I think he called slashing the stick, but then Paul just made a move to, to Captain Eric Stahl that might sit. Yeah, it's a slash. But he, there's Dvorsky. Look at Dvorsky looking for the positioning. He's at watch right to the left of Corey Schneider. Eric Stahl would not want to take a penalty like that. Hurricanes have gotten better with their stick infractions this year. Eric used to take a ton of them. Alex Semin took a ton of them. 
and that's one you'd like to avoid if possible. So the faceoff, as we see, swings back in the Carolina zone. 2.49 left in period one. Devil power play right now. Checks in it. A healthy number eight, tied for 17th at home. Now they set it up in control. Michael Ryder for Henry, blocked by Pat Dwyer. Michael Ryder had his stick checked. A good job coming down on him by the man with the puck, Jay McClement, who gets it out. Well, Michael Ryder, as I said earlier, was a healthy extra. Uh, against Washington on Saturday. So usually when you make a guy healthy extra like Ryder, you give him a chance to respond. So you, a goal scorer like Ryder, you might want to make sure your coverage is tight. Devil power play in the last five games. Three out of 15. Carolina has killed off 12 out of 14 in the same time period. Out of the University of Michigan, John Merrill drops it back. Adam Henry can control. The Devils gain entry. He gets it now from Eric Schellina. It goes deep. Hainsey hands it off to Nash. Not out. Cut off by Merrill. This way for Ryder. Michael Ryder, a nice shift. Holding onto it to the outside. Now they set it up. Here's Eric Schellina. Off the body. Blocked by Tim Gleason. Zajac picks it up. He'll set up now at the half wall. Travis Zajac for Adam Henrique. See the time left on New Jersey's power play. Schellina. John Merrill thinking about a shot. Now Ryder does. It's blocked. And a good block it was by Riley Nash. I like the way Nash is trying to fight through. You could see earlier in his shift, he told me this morning that he's got a split second more. He needs to show more composure, and he wasn't able to clear a puck because of that, but then a big block. Scott Gomez had it poked off his stick by Andre Sequeira. Otherwise, he's right in on Hudobin. Andy Green will keep it onside. He'll settle it down. Green advancing in direct pass for Yager. A button hook. Yager hands it off. They set it up again with Scott Gomez. He'll dangle on Falk. Good stick by Falk. Good reach by Yager. Yager inside for Gomez. Camilleri's out in front. Scott Gomez sends it back for Andy Green. Waning portion of the power play. Zitlitsky walking it down the wall. Green again. He'll settle it down to the outside. Gomez. Yager locked by Pat Dwyer. Good play. And the Hurricanes get it out. John, no a player's tendencies. Gomez has always been a pass-first guy. So a two-on-one in tight proximity to the net. Andre Sequeira did not leave the front of the net. All right? So just allow Gomez, if he wants to take it to the net, the goaltender Hudobin can take him. That is a wise play. No shots for the Devils with that power play. 27 seconds left in the period. It goes deep. Over the stick of Eric Stahl. Steven Giotto has the game's only goal. Tried to get it out. Stahl for Carolina. Keeps it deep. Elias Lindholm goes to work. He'll grind it. Stopping and starting on Andy Green. 14 seconds left in the period. Out of the corner, Zidlinski is on him. Gianta sends the low to Victor Rask. And New Jersey now will carry back out. Here's Tuomo Rutu. This way for Gianta. Steven Gianta out in front through the blue and out. With one second left. And that'll do it. Brendan Woods will be Trip Tracy's guest. We kick off the PNC Bank first intermission. Tweet a cane is Nathan Gerby. That comes your way next. Steven Gianta has the game's only goal. 1-0 New Jersey after 20. In Newark, Steven Gianta of the New Jersey Devils has the game's only goal. The Hurricanes now have gone four periods and change without a goal. Coors Light, cold hard facts. We'll take a look at Anton Udobin. Still struggling in terms of support. Dustin Tokarski of Montreal. Anton Hudobin, goal support per game. He's played extremely well, but it's always 1-0, 2-1. hard to win like that. You know, John, uh, the merit system, it was important that Bill Peters uh, reward Anton with another start after what he did against the Rangers. And, you know, if there are any bumps and bruises that Cam Ward is dealing with, we don't know of any. The Peter said he was healthy. It gives him a bigger break, maybe to be ready for Tampa. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe at ice level, along with our fine crew here at Prudential Center. Final game before the Christmas holiday break. The Canes will be at Tampa Bay Saturday night, starting with Hurricanes live at 6.30. Mike Camilleri can't control that one. Andre Sakara turned it over. Gomez, unattainable out in front. Yager had drifted this way, and John Merrill now is back to play it in his own zone. Scott Gomez for the Devils throws it back. Merrick Zidlitsky dances over the line, holds onto it. To the outside for Yarmir Yager. He'll cut on and off the stick of Mike Camilleri. Zidlitsky's taken down. Carolina will be penalized. Let's take a look at the first period numbers brought to you by Buffalo Brothers. Aw, oh, man, now I want wings. Pretty even period. I thought the Hurricanes just turned some pucks over in bad areas. And here's Zidlitsky with an excellent entry. Leads to eventually the same player drawing this penalty.
and the Devils will go to work on their power play. And boy, they have a lot of young defensemen on this team. You talk about Merrill, Eric Jelena, Larson. Jelena in particular can really fire the puck, but it starts with Zidlitsky and Green. They have five defensemen on their roster, 24 years of age or younger. Now Michael Ryder in control, holding onto it. To the point, Zidlitsky all the way across. Andy Green with a shot deflected wide by Anton Hudobin, and the Hurricanes get it out. I, I, I maintain that Andy Green is one of the most underrated defensemen in the NHL. He'll play on a five on three, four, the Devils, and he'll play on a three on five against. Big minutes, great player. Gaines lose a top penalty killer from the back end. The penalty to Justin Falk. It's carried out here by Jay McClement. Over the stick of Patrick Dwyer, and again back in Devil's Ice. When Falk beat out a guy like Green, you know, for an Olympic spot. Right. Andy Green, the former member of uh, the University of Miami, Redskin program in Ohio and Oxford, he easily could have been an Olympian. At the line, snapped ahead by New Jersey's Michael Ryder. Reversed by John Michael Lyles for Andre Sakara, who took a heavy hit from Michael Ryder. Well, that allowed Riley Nash a chance to get it out. Corey Schneider. Lays it this way for John Merrill as they set it up. With that much time left on their second power play. Well, Merrill actually was victimized by an outstanding play of the week type move by Ovechkin on Saturday night. But he's showing signs so far tonight that he can get over a mistake. He's been good. John Merrill steps in to the outside for Yager. Gleason is on him. Yager centers one off the paddle of Hudobin. Laid along here by Camilleri for Yager one more time. John Merrill can't handle it. And the Devils recoil. They're neutralizing back. Yarmir Yager in control. 42 years young. He'll pull up. This way for Merrill. Hitting a seam is Gomez. Good read by Andre Sakara, who cut it off. And the Hurricanes dump it out. Boy, Steve Smith will be happy with that. He thought that as the game went on against the Rangers, the penalty killing adjusted very nicely, especially the different breakouts up the ice that the Rangers were bringing there. Excellent job. Camilleri gets it from Jelena. Yager steps in. He'll address it. A shot. Handed down by Hudobin. Along the boards now. Yager forces Camilleri. Broken up out of the box. Justin Falk. Even terms on the ice. Falk with a shot. No problem for Schneider. Big rebound. Lyles. Stopped by Schneider. To the corner now. Rask. Looking for Lindholm. Out of that pile up. It's Merrick Zidlitsky. Line change is not a real net drive. Good shot by Falk. That's a smart shot. There were three defensemen on the ice. That's what you're looking for that they didn't have on the only goal of the game. Along the wall now, Jeff Skinner for the Hurricanes. For Brad Malone, Malone was physical again against the Rangers on Sunday night after he had eight hits Saturday night in Raleigh. Along the boards now, back to the point, walking it, Lyles. He has room, Skinner dancing. Shot taken, good save by Schneider. Off the stick of John Michael Lyles. When a defenseman is able to get the puck to the middle, all sorts of options are created. Let's watch watch Lyles take this from the backhand and get to the middle, and then watch Zitlitsky wearing two for New Jersey. He's eventually going to be guilty of the penalty right here, the trip on Skinner. Referee left side of your screen. But this was all about Lyles in an assertive manner, his second game back from injury getting the puck to the middle of the ice. You have all sorts of options at your disposal. Skinner goes to a rewarded area, and good to see he draws the penalty. Second power play for the Hurricanes as Peter DeBoer looks on. Carolina had two shots with the previous attempt. Eric Stahl will take this face off, flanked by Jeff Skinner and Chris Terry. The points are occupied by Andre Sakara and John Michael Lyles. Here's Sakara. He'll look it over. Shot taken, caught easily by Corey Schneider. Should the Canes score on the power play tonight? Caniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants tomorrow morning. Bojangles, it's bow time. The Hurricanes were beaten badly in the faceoff circle in the first period. Good to see Stahl that, uh, win that one. Hurricanes won just 33% in the opening period. Scott Gomez, four of five. Off the draw now. Andy Green up the gut and out. Early in this power play sequence, Hudobin directing traffic, Sakara coming back. Tim Sestito up front for New Jersey along with Steven Gianta. Adam Larson, Andy Green on the back end. Eric Stahl offside as they cross. Duke Energy has some power play numbers as Jeff Skinner takes a seat on the Carolina bench. Power play assist leaders, Eric Stahl, Victor Rask, and Justin Falk, each with five lead the way. 
Well, you have players from two different units, but the unit on the whole that's been better is represented by Rask playing the point, and you have Gerby. The younger unit on the whole has been better. Stahl is the only representative on that page of the more veteran-laden unit. 90 seconds left on this Carolina power play. It's brought out here by Falk. No quarterback along for Riley Nash. They gain entry. They do it cleanly. He'll go hard around. Victor Rask, top of your screen. Kirby moves it. Here's Lindholm. Out in front. Couple of saves. Corey Schneider on the spot. Snapped along, but not out by New Jersey. This way, it's Justin Falk. Falk holding onto it. Center point Rask to the outside. It's Kirby. Nathan Kirby looking for Falk. A good stick from John Merrill. Nathan Kirby out of the corner. He'll set up shop Victor Rask. Backhand dish for Kirby. Gerby asserts, Rask again, looking for a lane to the outside, Nathan Gerby one more time. Adam Henrique comes across on him, Harold down low, Gerby again. That much time in the power play, Rask at the line again for Gerby. Same play, shot blocked off the stick of Elias Lindholm, it never got through, and it's sent all the way back out. You see like Lyles didn't drawing the penalty when Victor Rask gets to the middle. All of a sudden, a power play is in a position of strength. 25 seconds left in the manpower advantage. Here's Victor Rask. Rask holding on to it, defended by a fellow Swede, Adam Larson. Chris Terry turns it along the wall for Carolina. Deals it inside for Eric Stahl. Stahl turns, holds on to it. Eric Stahl now from the half board, slowly sets it up. Stahl in control now. Waning portion of the power play. He'll advance off a stick. It deflects off Andy Green, and it goes out of play. This has been the better unit of the two, the one that we're going to take a look at now. Gerby on the half wall, and the first thing Rask thinks about is get to the middle. See, because he draws Zajac, and he could have continued to hold it. He could have shot it. He could have gone back as he did to where Gerby was, because all of a sudden there's a soft area for Nathan Gerby to do something with more time and space. Any defenseman or forward playing the point, you got to get to the middle. John Michael Lyles trading places with Ron Hainsey. Now Skinner, his shot off a body. It's blocked by Adam Larson. Zedlitsky's out of the box, so New Jersey kills it off. Comes all the way back in the Kane zone, and this is icing. All these good young defensemen for the Devils. You know, you, you just mentioned Larson, you look at Merrill, you look at Shellina, uh, Helgeson, all these guys that, that Lou Lamarillo has a bright future on the blue line. He doesn't have a lot of youth up front. Will they end up dealing a defenseman to try to get that same type of promise up front? They have a ton of good young defensemen. Mm -hmm. Well, they have, Tripp, it's not by accident. They have three retired numbers in their history, and they're all defensemen. As Corey Schneider hangs on to that one. Should the Kane score three or more goals tonight, get a free large pizza when you buy a large regular price pizza online at participating Papa John's the day after the Kane score three or more. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. And I'm looking up. Scott Stevens, Scott Niedemeyer, and Ken Danico. I think of Brian Rafalski, too, and, you know, the type of contribution he made here, and that's been a staple of Lou Lamarillo teams is, I mean, stalwart defense. And the next one will be number 30. When Marty decides, that's it. But that's not it. He continues with the St. Louis Blues as Anton Hudobin will move it along. Brad Malone in his own zone. Shots on goal in this period. Carolina 6 and New Jersey 1. Andre Sakara tries to move it by Peter Harold. He'll get after it. Back to the goal now. Jay McClement taps it along. Stolen by Peter Harold as we see it deflect out to center ice. Justin Falk for the Hurricanes. Moving it by Patrick Dwyer. Comes all the way back in Corey Schneider's half of the ice, manned by Peter Harold. He trains in Raleigh in the offseason. Now it's left there for Scott Gomez, and they start again. He's a good puck-moving defenseman, Harold is. That's certainly what distinguished his play at Boston College. Anton Hudobin, second consecutive start, puts it on a tee. John Michael Lyles will start again. Just about seven minutes gone in the second period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. As we will enjoy with all of you the holiday break and the Canes get after the Tampa Bay Lightning on Saturday night. Starting with Hurricanes live right here at 6.30. Brendan Woods in his first game holding onto it. Up top it goes. Ron Hainsey. Around the horn they go. Lyles. Now Woods in the slot. He turns. He shoots one. Blocked by John Merrill. And it goes out of play. 12.52 left to go in the second period. Riley Nash and the Canes down by one. 
in the second period. It's a one nothing Devils for another Metropolitan Division matchup. And the Canes dropped their last two games to the Rangers by just one goal. John Michael Lyles has our Geico quote. He says, you try to keep the mood upbeat. I think the coaching staff has done a great job with that. Nobody wants to be in the position we're in right now, but it's a learning process. And hopefully we can take the positives from each and every game, whether it's a win or a loss. Guys. Well, okay, so if you can find a solution with a positive, straightforward message. And I mm. talked about it Sunday. The rink has to continue to be a destination where players want to come to the rink. Mm -hmm. You know, you can show them the things they have to do better, but show them when they do good things, too. That's a big part of Peter's mantra. Mm -hmm. Now over the line, they cross. Corey Schneider easily handles that shot taken by John Michael Lyles on cue. 12.32 left in the second period. And to simplify why the Hurricanes are at where they're at, because nobody wanted to be here going into the holiday break, Eric Stahl has brought the effort, but he's not 100%, and he's, he's not the confident player that hopefully he can get back to with his stride and with his hands. Alex Semin has completely underperformed and now has health issues as well. Skinner's production has been spotty. Falk and Sakara have not been what they were last year. I mean, to me, you can't win in this league without your best players being your best players on most nights. And, and that's the difference in these one-goal games. And that's the trick for every team. Now along the boards, Bernier tied up by Jeff Skinner. It pops out. Devils, as we see, in control, Zidlitsky. Batted out of midair and out of play. But from the neutral zone by Tuomo Rutu, it'll just be a face-off. And Lindholm showed some, some promise in the first period getting to the front of the net. Skinner has to play without fear and getting to the good areas like he did on the penalty he drew, he drew a few minutes ago from Eric Zidlitsky. Center ice faceoff. Rask had his stick tied up by Steven Gianta. He has the game's only goal, scored at 13.32 of period one. A shot that deflected off Kane defenseman Mikhail Jordan and by Anton Hudobin. John Merrill stops ahead of Elias Lindholm. Lindholm stays true in the forecheck. Rask, Zidlitsky a pickoff, and now Rutu writes the ship in his own zone. Good play by Jordan on him. Skinner, his shot, sealed off by Schneider. Skinner overskates the rebound. He's tied up by John Merrill, who tackles Jeff Skinner, and the puck is cleared all the way back in the Carolina zone. This is icing against New Jersey. Interesting to see if Pete DeBoer calls his timeout here. The second period. Elias Lindholm, I thought, had a really good power play in the first period. Can he build off of it? In different ways, whether it be dragging a puck, getting it to the front of the net, a nice screen, trying to take away the vision of Corey Schneider, their inside body position on Merrill, the devil defenseman. If you see him in that area, shift in, shift out, he's going to get out of any offensive rut he finds himself in in his young career. Hurricanes have eight of the nine shots in this period. Elias Lindholm has three scoring chances tonight. Dwyer hands it off in back of the goal. Jay McClement now moves it. Getting to it for New Jersey is John Merrill. Merrill out to center ice. You take a look at the shots on goal by period. It comes all the way back in. Justin Falk in control. Hands it off in the breakout. Steered out by Patrick Dwyer. Stolen. Fed along by Scott Gomez. The Devils pounce on it. Yager. He'll cut. Out in front. Cleaned up by Falk. And the Hurricanes will escape harm. It's amazing how well Gomez is playing. He truly is. Going wide now. Chris Terry. He's the new Ponce de Leon of the National Hockey League. Out of the corner. Adam Larson moves it. Boy, he was booed when he first signed with the Rangers. A steal. A chance for Nathan Gerby. And it struck Corey Schneider up high. Two teammates from Boston College. Gerby going at Schneider there. But when Gomez signed with the Rangers, he came back in this building. He was booed. We watched practice yesterday, and he was, without question, the fan favorite. Now brought along here by Gerby. Out in front. Good stick by Eric Jelena. Count Camilleri now to the corner, and it's played here by Yarmir Yager. And back out. Yager in control. New Jersey is changing. He senses that, and here they come. It goes by Adam Henrique. Hainsey goes D to D for Lyles. A quick up on a change in the zone. Eric Stahl, he'll pull up. Skate to stick. Nash off the outside of the goal post. And possibly Corey Schneider got a piece of it. Riley Nash in back of him. Gerby, a tough angle picked off again by Corey Schneider. 9.55 left to go in the middle session. He's been good tonight as he was in Raleigh on December 8th. Riley Nash with a chance off the medal, 1-0. We're back here in New Jersey from the back, George Alves, Bob Gorman, 
and Skip Cunningham, this stellar equipment group for the Hurricanes, and they want to extend their heartfelt condolences to the Chicago Blackhawks and Clint Reef and his family. Clint, a multiple Stanley Cup champion, is part of the equipment staff for the Blackhawks, tragically lost his life on Sunday, and the fine equipment staff for Carolina wanted to send their thoughts and prayers. This is a terrible tragedy. Out of the corner now, comes back. Jordan now will move it. Boychuk for Carolina, off a stick, out in front. Adam Henrique in control with Michael Ryder. A feather along the boards, Jordan for Carolina. Shots 11-1 in the period for the Hurricanes. Now chancing New Jersey, 7-1. Ryder, off a stick, it goes high. Michael Ryder gets to it. At the point, moved along now by Seth Helgeson. It comes all the way back in. Getting to it here is Brad Malone. Malone in control for Carolina. Through the center zone and all the way back. You want to try to know the personnel. Ryder, unlike Gomez, is a shoot, not pass first kind of guy. Now around the boards. Henrik snaps it deep on a cycle. Ryder is there for the Devils. He's tied up by Malone. In support, the goal scorer, Steven Gianta. They grind it here along the wall. Henrik shoulders. Mikhail Jordan. Henrik wins the battle. Now Gianta to the outside. He'll wind it off the pad of Hudobin. Captured here by Elias Lindholm. Good work from Jordan there in front, making sure that Adam Henrik, a very talented forward who scored some huge goals for the Devils, can't get position. A scrap. Jordan 2-2. Dropping the mitts with Tim Gleason. Here we go. Gleason with a right. It was an uppercut, a good one. 2-2 fighting back. And he gets on top of Tim Gleason. On the whole, in a depth category, Tim Gleason, I think, has, has done his part for the Hurricanes. He's been tougher to play against in the first couple months of the season. Jordan Tutu from the northern parts of Canada distinguished himself with the Nashville Predators. It starts with a hit. Was the puck already gone that it could have been interference? It didn't look like Tutu elevated himself. And maybe Tutu knows what the shot difference is in this period, trying to spark his team. Gleason trying to continue to spark the momentum that uh, has led to the good chances. And that's a good hockey fight. You know, whatever your philosophy is on the present state of fighting, the very stoic Pete DeBoer and the Hurricanes coaching staff, but, you know, that's one of those fights that just unfolds for a reason and I think is a good thing. Jordan Tutu, longtime Nashville Predator, quick stop in Detroit as a Red Wing, and then came in on a tryout basis with New Jersey. Peter DeBoer now will organize his troops. 8.38 left in the second period. Carolina sends out Victor Rask, Elias Lindholm, and Jeff Skinner. Ron Hainsey, John Michael Lyles on the back end for Bill Peters. Lyles now will feed it in. Adam Larson gets to it. To the point, Hainsey. He'll dust it off. He'll go deep. Lindholm and back of Schneider stopping and starting. To the outside off a stick intended for Rask. Hainsey now for Lindholm. His swing pass detected by Sestito, now moved by Victor Rask. Play read by John Merrill, but he gave it away. Lindholm in the corner, stood up by Adam Larson. Rask to the point, Hainsey, he'll dance. Arister blocked by Bernier, inside for Rask. Now Skinner, his shot taken, nullified by John Merrill. Getting to it is Ron Hainsey shifting with it. It's loose, Merrill plays it indirectly along the boards and back out. Carolina now recoiling in their own zone. Elevated out over the leg of Jeff Skinner. Skinner's offside, pushed back on as New Jersey is on it in the person of Scott Gomez. 7.45 left in the second period. Peter Harold has plenty of time and space. Uh, it's a tough line change. You never want to, in the second period, further change to have everybody change at the same time. Yager on a change with a one-arm shiver. Stays with it along the boards, broken up. Dwyer. Lead pass, good reject by Andy Green. Here's Lyles for Carolina. Pawed down by Green, controlled by Peter Harrell. Patrick Dwyer's all over him. It's loose, top of your screen. Sakara lays it off the pad of Schneider, played here by Peter Harrell. And the Devils will escape harm. Mike Camilleri. Camilleri out to neutral ice. He'll feed it along. Everybody else changes, but New Jersey's 23. To me, that's a lot of good and just one more thing needed. Dwyer, first man contact on the puck pursuit off of the dump in, but then at the screen. Zajac with a shot, good stick by Justin Falk, and it goes on to play. The Canes have a brand new 
Five game flex pack starting at just $125. Choose from eight key matchups ranging from January to March. Receive a $25 gift card to the iStore with each planned purchase. You can call 866 NHL Canes. Log on to CarolinaHurricanes.com slash tickets for more details and to secure your seats now. In hockey terms, it's an F1. Off of the four check, causing a turnover with contact and getting to the front of the net. But get to the front of the net and try to take away the vision of Schneider with that point shot coming, especially with the way Schneider seems to be playing against Carolina. Now Zidlitsky, the veteran. The old schooler on the back end for New Jersey. He's 37. It comes all the way back in. Zajac all over Eric Stahl. Stahl digs it out. A steal, though. Michael Ryder off the paddle of Hudobin in the screen. We get a stoppage. Well, Anton Hudobin made some quality saves in the first period. Was beaten on a, uh, a redirection off of his own player inadvertently, but now has just seen eight shots. And there, you know, getting his stick involved is a little bit of a dicey play, but you know, he's got to make sure he's mentally strong here when he's not busy to stay focused, do other things to stay sharp. Eh? It can be a difficult challenge. And he's always been a guy who likes a ton of shots, that type of goaltender. The way Marty Brodeur had a play here for years, that's the hard way. I think it's the hardest way uh, because I can tell you, your mind wanders and then you want to show everybody in the building, your teammates, coaches, the fans, that you're in the game. And then you overthink something on what should be just a routine play for a goal. Brad Malone had a good hit on Peter Harold in front of the devil bench. Brendan Woods hands it off. They grind a cycle here from their own zone as Carolina attempts to wheel out and they do. And now it's played here by Peter Harold ahead of Zach Boychuk, a reverse finding Andy Green. The Michigander out to center intended for Steve Bernier all the way back in and in the trapezoid, Anton Hudobin fiddling and diddling. And now Ron Hainsey along for Elias Lindholm and back out to center ice. To the corner for Jeff Skinner ahead of Adam Larson. Inside it goes Lindholm. Lindholm and back of Schneider to the outside. To the point, to Sakara with a shot knocked down. It eludes Skinner, who gets to it. Jeff Skinner given a shove that time by John Merrill, and the Devils work it out. Well, it's more pay they, those were more pump fakes than, than Peyton Manning on that play. Yeah, that was Udobin something. Behind the net, he eventually made the right play, so the deception worked. I'm sure he didn't call the Omaha as it comes out to center ice. Here's Elias Lindholm. Over the line now, Skinner. Skinner holding onto it. He has room. Here it comes. Caught by Corey Schneider. Final eight left to go in the second period. Holiday greetings. Everybody's festive here in New Jersey, except for these two. Stick around. Grinding, he's pressing. Riley Nash has gone 20 games without a goal, and he came close during this sequence. In this game, he's showing signs of, of busting out of it. You look at the first 19 games, no Jordan Stahl, and in virtually every situation, he just was full of promise. And since then, he's hit a wall. I mean, the way he takes this, this pass off of his right skate seamlessly on the tape and a deceptive release off the post, I, start, I thought it started to really come at Madison Square Garden. He's trying not to think too much. If he stays with these habits, eventually he's going to bust through that wall and start to get rewarded. Well, initially, he, he filled the void. Hand pass is called here. With Jordan being out, you talk about his face-offs, his defensive matchups, and the production, it was all there. You know, John, when we look at, uh, I, I mentioned top players needing to be top players, where, why the Hurricanes are at, where they're at going into the break. I didn't know Cam Ward was going to play as well as he has, but one player, the top player I would not want removed from the lineup would have been Jordan Stahl because of his value, even when he's not producing points. But in the month of October, Riley Nash did all that you would have ever asked, winning face-up, being good defensively, having some grit to his game, and producing at a decent clip. And Jordan's return could be the 29th against Montreal. Play comes to a halt. The net is off the pegs in back of Hudobin. That's a movable date for Jordan, but that could be the time he returns. The Carolina Alehouse is the spot for cool bars to watch the Hurricanes on the road. And he will be in Toronto on January the 19th at the brand new downtown Raleigh locale. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. And, and I think the question is, Riley Nash, a former first round pick of the Edmonton Oilers at 25 years old, is he a two center or is he a three center? October made you start to think, could he be a two center? Since then, you think he'd be better suited as a three center. Now, whenever Jordan comes back, even if Eric goes to the wing, matchups should become more favorable. And that's where the filter down effect of getting Jordan back 
can help all sorts of players. And you have a developed Victor Rask now, too, and that's a totally different scene for him as opposed to the offseason. That's, for me, the most promising element of this year is, 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 the pro is wh where you think Victor Rask can be a few years from now. I mean, Tuomo Rutu on the Devils told me this morning he noticed that he had a chance to be good a couple of training camps ago in Raleigh with his, his willingness to try to make plays and, of course, being so teachable and coachable. Peter Harold stolen by Eric Stahl. Harold went down. Stahl moves it. Michael Ryder bumped a bit by Gerby. Played here by Nash, looking for Eric Stahl. Stahl to the outside, guarded by John Merrill. Indirect pass, finding Nash. The captain again underneath it, and an easy chance swallowed by Corey Schneider. It's getting late in the period. The Hurricanes have been a good faceoff team this year. They haven't been great so far here tonight, but. This is where you need to win a draw. They have some preconceived face-off plays, but you can't work these plays unless you win the face-off. And now they're going to go with the fourth line here. Is Malone going to take this draw? Usually it'd be McClement. But Brad Malone's going to take this face-off. He is on the preferred side. You might see an interchange between the two wingers if they win the draw. Boy Chuck in the middle. And they're Brendan Woods. Face-offs now, New Jersey 16, Carolina 15. They tie it with possession. Sakara blocked in front. Brendan Woods with a chance picked off by Schneider. Brendan Woods looking for his first NHL goal. Well, this was the interchange I was talking about. Here's Woods right here. Good job with these widened hash marks, both boy Chuck and Woods. And look at Woods get the positioning as Larson goes searching for the puck and that creates a seam and look at the reaction from Woods. He thought he had his first goal. He kept him short in the first period. His average shift length was 24 seconds. That's trying to make a good impression with the coaches. Absolutely. Now along the boards, Rask. He's played well. Larson in control. Try and move it. It's a quality stop from Corey Schneider. He made that one look easy. It comes out now for Gianta. Camilleri encumbered a bit to get it deep. Out to play it is Hudobin. A look around again with a couple of deeks, and now it's played here by Scott Gomez. Gomez a steal, holding onto it. Camilleri to the outside of Skinner. Gomez again defended by Rask. In control, Yager off a stick. Settled down here by Elias Lindholm. And away go Carolina. Victor Rask over the line in the zone. A shot. Getting a piece was Corey Schneider. Now it's played again by Gomez, but held in by Skinner as it comes all the way back. Hurricanes are down a player on the bench when I count. It might be McClemon, and that's why Malone took that draw that led to that uh, tremendous chance from Woods. Camilleri now for Zidlitsky. Yager calmly back in his own zone. He'll wind it up. Cross ice pass out of the reach of Mike Camilleri all the way back. Icing is called here. I think Woods has been significantly more comfortable here in the second period. I think he's he showed composure with the puck. First period, you know, you just don't want to make a mistake. 24 second average shift. Look at that A to B North South hockey. I've noticed that, you know, he started to hold on to the puck and try to make a play. Then he off of a face off just leads to the best chance Carolina's had all night long. And last year at the beginning of training camp, you saw in an inner squad game his good physical game. Ainsey with a shot through a maze of humanity out in front. It hit Brendan Woods, and now it's played here by Yarmir Yager. But Hainsey on him. And they scrum along the boards. Dug out by Yager. Andy Green is away for Camilleri. He'll retreat. Yeah, it was an inner squad game that he hit. Woods hit Yuri Tolusti. And Tolusti, unfortunately, was injured. But it was a clean hit. And that's not something Carolina has enough of. Big guys that can hit. And he did it. And to me, it gives me hope that if he can ever do that at the NHL level, boy, he could find a niche. Fifth round pick in 2012, and that's usually the area of the draft. You get those character guys out of the corner now. Played here, brought along by Bernier, intended for Tuomo Rutu. Foot race, Jordan finished off by Sestito, and it's controlled now by Ron Hainsey with his head up. Ron Hainsey now will scale it in. Back up Schneider, top of your screen, a steal. Shot taken from well out to flex wide from Chris Terry. Now Justin Falk. He'll send it deep. Jay McClement, the outside Terry. He'll work Peter Harrell. Chris Terry for McClement, negated by Sestito. It's Luth, and now the Devils get to it. Helgeson in the corner, tied up by Jay McClement. Peter Harrell coming in on Chris Terry as you see the scrum up close. Helgeson had it, lost it, it comes all the way back out. In control now is John Michael Lyles. 
Returning is Chris Terry. He'll feed it deep. Carolina will get a change. Peter Harold is back. Helgeson in the corner. Off the glass. Back out. A lead pass for Adam Henrique. He'll cut on Lyles. Leave it there. Good play by Lyles. Carolina transitions out. Riley Nash under a minute left in the period at his side stall. Eric down the wall. Sealed off by John Merrill. Travis Zajac is back for New Jersey. Out of that. Scrum in the corner. Eric Stahl attempts to dig it out. Goes by Nash. Henrique. Michael Ryder defended by a cluster of three. Lyles moves it along. Nash is upended. And play will continue. You see that reload from Nathan Gerby. Straight line hockey causes the turnover. Nash for Stahl. Eric shot. Pinballs off green wide. Nathan Gerby to a vacated point position. And Andre Sakara is back to get it. That is the bread and butter of any team that's successful. When a forward comes back with that reload, with that back pressure, all of a sudden the defensemen have the courage to have much tighter gaps. Loose puck. Is batted out with a hand pass from Ron Hainsey. We get a stoppage of play with 13 seconds left in the period. Have you watched the epics, uh, you know, the, the road to the Winter Classic, the behind the scenes with the Chicago Blackhawks and Washington Capitals? Well, the first installment had Barry Trotz, the Capitals coach, an interchange with Paul Dvorsky in a game recently. I think it was a game with Columbus. And Barry, at the end of an overtime loss, is saying, Paul, how did you make that call in overtime? And Dvorsky skating off. He says, Barry, you've been on the power play all night. I loved it. I think it's great access. Dvorsky has long been an exceptional referee. That sets up the Winter Classic on New Year's Day. Skinner takes a seat on the way through, and that'll do it. Two in the books here at The Rock. Riley Nash will be Tripp's guest. We start the PNC Bank second intermission. We also have NHL scores and highlights. Two periods down. Carolina still aching for a goal. Anton Hudobin not busy at all in the period. The Hurricanes outshot the Devils 15-3 in the second period. We'll see if they can sharpen up and get a goal in the third period. It's New Jersey 1. Carolina no score. Right here on Fox Sports Carolina. I'm defenseman Ron Hainsey, and you're watching Hurricanes Hockey on Fox Sports Carolina. Ron, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to join you in the third period. And before we get to it, let's get to Chantel McCabe with Kane's assistant coach, Smith. Coach, you have to take care of your own end first, but when your team needs goals, how do you activate your defensemen effectively? Well, we talked an awful lot in, the, in between periods about not only getting pucks to the net, but getting them to the net in the air, and that's the critical part at this point in time. We actually dominated that putt in that uh, period. I felt we had a lot of ozone time. We had an awful lot of opportunities off of strong cycles. Um, their, def their defensemen are fronting pucks. we got to get a by their, by their D, and we've just got to be a little bit heavier in front of the net. I think the guys are doing a lot of the right things now, and hopefully something will pay off quickly. Thank you. You're welcome. See if that takes place in this third period. Hurricanes have to be frustrated by the offensive output, which extends to the game against the Rangers on Sunday night for the three periods. A chunk of the third period, Saturday night at home, plus the overtime, and now this, still looking for a goal. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, Chantel McKay, Victor Rask, Andre Sakara just wide as they get the opportunity right off the draw. Michael Ryder in back of Corey Schneider as they start again, but a good steal here by Victor Rask. He'll set it up. Sakara at the point, looking for a tip, none available. Rask let it go. Justin Falk at the point. Play read by New Jersey's Merrick Zedlitsky for Travis Zajac, held in by Elias Lindholm. Good sequence for the Hurricanes right off the hop here as we start this third period. Justin Falk coming all the way back out to center ice. Played here by the Devils, Michael Ryder, given a shove by Andre Sakara to the corner. Falk centers one, broken up by Victor Rask, and away they go. Rask out to center ice. He'll wind it all the way in on Corey Schneider. Hurricanes and Devils will enjoy, along with the entire National Hockey League, a three-day break after this. Action will resume on December 27th. The Canes will be at Tampa. And New Jersey will be across the river against the Rangers. Now it's skated out here by Eric Stahl. He'll gain center ice, move it by Peter Harold as the Hurricanes get on the forecheck. Much smarter dump in there from Stahl. Dump-ins have to be thoughtful. 
in terms of puck placement if they really are going to be a temporary loss of possession. The previous dump in was just a soft wrap wraparound that Schneider's able to get back and comfortably stop and leave for his defense. Eric Stahl had it detected at first by Tuomo Rutu, then he got back to it, but the Devils recoil goes off the stick of Steve Bernier all the way down to Anton Hudobin around the boards. John Michael Lyles hard pressed by Steven Gianta. He has the game's only goal scored at 1332 of period one. Mikhail Jordan for Carolina. Away for John Michael Lyles. A long stretch pass over the stick of Jay McClement. John Merrill is back for New Jersey. McClement bears in and Schneider got a pad to it. As it careens all the way back in Carolina ice. Good speed for McClement uh, who did not leave the bench as I speculate in the second period. He's played over 10 minutes but with Stahl moving to the wing he moves up. Now McClement for Justin Falk. His shot blocked in front by John Merrill. And the Devils clear it back out to neutral ice. And McClemmon slides up a spot in the center of the ice. And then you have Malone moving to the center with Eric going to the wing. Out of the corner, Jordan. Laid off for Patrick Dwyer. A read by Zedlitsky who knocks it down. But he's shouldered down nicely that time by Chris Terry. And the Hurricanes will escape harm. Here they come. On a line change, Dwyer's alone. He wipes it wide, gets it back, walks in. Knocked down by Helgeson. It's loose side of the goal. Played along for Jordan. 2-2 sealed off by Brad Malone. Mike Camilleri shied away from Andre Sakara. Over the line, he goes wide. Sakara feathers out in front. Paddled down by Corey Schneider. Played off the glass by Camilleri and all the way back out. Uh, two different shifts. Sakara jumping in in two different ways. One off of the rush and before that coming in after Lindholm created all of the attention getting the puck to the front. Gomez in control. Yarmir Yager over the line with a stutter step. Loses body as protection as he always does. Harrell point to point. Andy Green. A wrister tipped wide. Gomez out in front. Looks for Yager knocked down by Brad Malone. Scott Gomez in the corner turns. Camilleri calls. A good stick by Ron Hainsey. And it goes out of play. Need that stick on Camilleri because he can finish with the best of them. Let's watch the left side of your screen. Rask. The chance in front with all that attention. Zajac taking Rask. Sakara wisely jumps. And then next shift here off of the rush. Looking to see if Malone can somehow get positioning there. Trying to battle to get to the front on Schneider. And that's good work from Andre. A lot of time you see a lot of skating at the offensive blue line or just inside like an overtime against the Rangers in rally on Saturday. But he's got to make a play. And there he did. When you make a play, you cause confusion. Those were two good reads. Tim Gleason not on the Carolina bench. He's being examined for an upper body concern. His return is uncertain. That's the word we have from Mike Sunheim, who's traveling with the team. And we thank him for that. Along the boards now, Tuomo Rutu out to center ice. Yager in control. He'll move it deep. And, of course, you fear that he took a... A good punch from Tutu in that second period fight. Loose play, Ryder knocks down Elias Lindholm. The Devils have the puck. Merrill took a hit from Victor Rask and Carolina reorganizes. Here's Justin Fulk. A quick up on the wall, chipped along by Skinner. Corey Schneider out to play it. Move it for Peter Harold. Harold now along the boards for Michael Ryder. Anton Hudobin out to get it for Carolina, pressured by Adam Henrique. Riley Nash in his own zone. The Hurricanes transition. Sakara this way for Stahl. Stahl with a shot at the flex high. Loose in back of the goal. Eric Stahl, Riley Nash come together. Now Michael Ryder for the Devils, and out they go. A lead pass for Travis Zajac. Excellent breakout for Carolina. Riley Nash, the centerman, coming down low. Because of that, you come out with speed, and Andre Sakara again joins the rush. Nathan Gerby on the off wing. Cuts, pulls up. His shot goes wide of Schneider. His ex-college teammate now, Gianta, over the line. Deals along for Route 2, stopped by Hudobin. Tonight on Fox Sports Live, full highlights from College Hoops, NHL, the NBA, as Kevin Lowe takes on the Timberwolves for the first time since bolting for Cleveland, plus Donovan McNabb's in the house to preview the games this weekend that will have playoff implications. Good challenging save from Hudobin there on Tuomo Rutu. Rutu just one goal on the year. And Falk and Lyles switch spots here. Yeah, this may be because Lyles is a left shot right here. If you win the draw, he can take ice. And maybe because of that, the Hurricanes can come out cleanly. Now Helgeson at the point. It deflects wide of Anton Hudobin. Chris Terry, Gianta, 
Got in the way. McClement now for Carolina. 14.40 left. Regulation time. Hurricanes, the same score they encountered in New York against the Rangers on Sunday. Down by a goal, 1-0. Now it's Lyles. Lyles hands it off. Justin Falk from his own end. Chris Terry drops it back for Jay McClement. He'll beat it off a stick, get it deep. Elgison now reverses the young defenseman. Out of the corner, underneath it and out is Scott Gomez. Gomez out to center, away from Terry. We'll play it along the boards. He'll move in deep. Kudobin awaiting in the trapezoid. Plays it along this way for Chris Terry. Jumps his stick. Camilleri for Yager. Yager looks for Gomez off the stick of Jordan. Scott Gomez for New Jersey to the point. Peter Harold walking the line. Off the wall, Andy Green. Good sweep check by Patrick Dwyer. They come together right in front of that Carolina bench and tie it up. They continue that scrum. Everybody peels away. Referee wants it moved. And they get a wish here for Christmas. We'll see. Green continues the scrum with McClement. They do move it. Sakara off the stick. It deflects. But outside the line, the Devils reorganize. Peter Harold with his head up. Spots Camilleri. He has 11 goals. That leads New Jersey. It comes back. Sakara. Pressured by Mike Camilleri in support. Travis Sajak. Sajak to the outside to the point. Merrill. He broke his stick in two. It's loose. Locked out in front. Sajak in the corner. Travis Sajak as Camilleri was knocked down. You see it up close. He paws at Sakara. Rask away from Ryder in his own zone. They set it up. Well, you need help from low centermen like Nash I mentioned here. Victor Rask with the Hurricanes down to five defensemen with no Gleason. Victor Rask over the line. Drags it. Cut off at the defense by Zidlitsky. Zajac, a lead feed. It's Ryder. Michael Ryder, Henrique out in front. There he is. Kudobin said no. Played here by Falk and away go the Hurricanes. Out to center, Lindholm for Skinner. Skinner approaching Adam Larson. He stays with it. Larson takes him down. A loose puck in the devil's zone. Ryder on the boards. Tied up by Elias Lindholm. 12.28 left to go in regulation time. Henrique, look out. Tough play there, and now it's Adam Larson back out to neutral ice. Larson and company, the, the Devils are doing a good job keeping Skinner for the most part to the outside tonight. Hainsey crunched on the way through by Peter Harold. It goes high, it deflects out of play. We get a stop at 12-13, left to go in this third period, as he did Sunday night in New York. Third period, down by a goal. Anton Hudobin keeps the Hurricanes in good position. Well, we cataloged Yarmir Yager in our open tonight. 12-13 left in this third period. We'll take a look at some numbers here. Well, I mean, you can see that he's hit a bit of a wall. So we've talked about younger players uh, hitting walls at 42. It would appear that perhaps he's hit one since he played his 1500th game in Carolina back on December 8th. And that's a lot to ask of a 42-year-old, even a... A special player like Yager to, to lead this team offensively the way he has. That was not the intention when you signed him. I have more support. Riley Nash with a chance blocked in front. I don't think it got through. I think Travis Zajac had the block. We will get another look at it. Riley Nash again with a golden opportunity. Now Ryder, who has five scoring chances tonight, tries to make it happen for New Jersey. Nathan Gerby now will dance out to the center zone. Gerby pulls up. Lays it in off Corey Schneider. Played again by Nash for stall block. Lyles a chance stopped by Corey Schneider. Well, obviously, in this situation, you have Eric Stahl, the lefty, taking the draw. This is Nash. Options. A righty and a lefty. As long as they play on the same line together, he comes back out high and watch him reload. So, remember in the interview, Riley Nash talked about having a good high forward? A good F3. There, it's a big reason that he almost scores. Gerby, the net front presence. But that was defensive hockey that led to almost a goal. Sakara through a screen, a chance. McClement out in front. Good stick by Tuomo Rutu. Out to center ice. A good look at the former Hurricane. Bouncing one wide of Hudobin. Chianta beats for Bernier. McClement is back for Carolina. He'll carry out. A three on three for the Hurricanes. A lead pass for Dwyer. Good read. Zidlitsky. He cut it off. Lead pass. Skate the stick. Tuomo root two. He'll pull up. Out in front. Out of the reach of Gianta. Steven Gianta. Lays it across for Merrick Zidlitsky. He'll walk it down the boards on Dwyer. Fancy dance. Stick handling. Back it goes for Gomez. Gomez to the outside. Holding on to it. Here's a chance. Out in front. Hudobin said no on root two. 
John, the Hurricanes have done a lot of very good things tonight, but you've got to play the body in this league. You have to play the body. Anytime you go chasing the puck, waving the wand, as they say, you're cooked. Dwyer did. McClement did. And Gomez comes in. Like I said earlier, Scott Gomez is playing special hockey here on his 35th birthday, and Rutu's had two good chances in this period. Off the draw now, Merrill. Turning stick of Yager. He'll cut. He'll go to work. He'll circle the wagons right out in front. Off a stick. It goes high. Off Ron Hainsey. Just as you say, he's hit a wall. Hasn't really been heard from tonight. The reach. The protection of the puck from Yager. Hainsey falls down, and Hainsey, in trying to recover, watch Hainsey fall. He almost creates a goal by colliding with Hudobin. I'm not sure if Ron got a piece of that. Puck ends up in the netting. Off the draw now. Snapped along that time by John Michael Lyles. Adam Larson is hard-pressed by Jeff Skinner. Skinner peppers him. They battle along the boards. Lindholm is there, too. Skinner out in front. Pedal down. Skinner again. Blocked. Off Larson. Now the Devils get control. Yager on the board. Sends it all the way back with touch. No icing. New Jersey can get a change. 10.20 left to go in regulation time here at the Rock. Second of four meetings. Carolina's back here on February 21st. New Jersey won the first meeting on December 8th in Raleigh. Rask with a shot denied by Schneider. Out of the corner, Corey Schneider had 39 saves against Carolina on December 8th. Jordan easily stopped by Corey Schneider. Now Zajac cut off by Justin Falk. He'll swing it along for Nathan Gerby. Gerby starts his engine. Moving up on Harold. He'll throw on the brakes. Inside it goes. Riley Nash has Eric Stahl out in front of backhand. Blocked by Andy Green. And it goes out of play. 9.45 left to go in regulation time. New Jersey won. Carolina, no score. It appears for now, Corey Schneider has the Hurricanes number. Let's take a look at his body of work here tonight. Well, watch how calm he is on this uh, outside shot from Victor Rask. And when he was at Boston College, he told me this morning, he said he was much more athletic and acrobatic and in and out. He said when he got to Vancouver, and Rowan Melanson, the goaltending coach there, said, hey, if you want to play like Jonathan Quick, if you think you're equipped to do that, you can do that. But the way you're built, I think you're better if you play a calmer game. It conserves energy, too, and you can see the fruits of it. He says it has single-handedly improved his career in the biggest manner of any ingredient he has right now. Good goaltender now along the boards. Fed in. Skinner on Zidlitsky. Jeff Skinner goes down. Puck underneath him. Zidlitsky attempts to dig it out. Skinner takes the hit from Elgison, and now it's played here by Zidlitsky. He'll elevate it all the way back out through center, as we see, and the Hurricanes are on it. And Schneider said playing a quieter game, uh, especially when he sees a lot of shots, has helped him save energy late in game. Falk now stops in a dime, gets room, his shot blocked in front by his own man. And we're going to face off in the Devils' zone. I don't think it's a great surprise that so many American-born goaltenders are acrobatic, athletic-type guys. I mean, we were in New York, uh, obviously, a couple nights ago, and Mike Richter actually slid by the booth to say hello to the Ranger broadcasters. He was that way. Now, you look at a Tom Barrasso or John Van Beesbrook, they were more mechanically sound, quieter guys. Now, the next generation, the most athletic, acrobatic guy in the game is Jonathan Quick, who is American-born like Schneider. So what will that do to future generations? Of course, of any young goalie who would be wise to try to be like Quick, but there's only one Quick. That's right. Gomez now for Yager. Yager now can't make it happen. Hainsey's on him. 8.50 left in regulation time. It goes by Terry. Adam Larson, you see it up close. They come together in the corner. Played along by Merrill. Merrill has a hard time with McClement. John Merrill gets it back for the Devils. Sets up Scott Gomez. Gomez given a crunch by Jay McClement. Out of that scrum, it's loose. Getting to it now, Patrick Dwyer kicks around and finally out of the stick of Andre Sequeira. He'll go deep. Chris Terry for the Hurricanes gets support from McClement. McClement for Dwyer. He's checked by John Merrill. Getting control now is Scott Gomez. Kicked along by Sequeira. To see if the Hurricanes can trap the zone. Gomez in a stick battle with McClement. Dwyer taken down by Larson. Here's Hainsey moving up. Ron Hainsey sends it back. Eric Stahl. Andre Sequeira out in front of Tim. They score! Patrick Dwyer with traffic in front from Ron Hainsey and the Hurricanes have finally
finally broken through and tied it. The whole key was keeping this puck in. New Jersey had numbers, they couldn't get it out, and the guy who eventually sets up the goal, Sakara, with the help of a Clement, keeps it in. Hainsey reads it. Instead of uh, going retreating in the neutral zone, he comes back in. A line change comes into play. I think that's Eric Stahl up top. And Hainsey, who after Sakara held the line, came back in to keep the play moving, is now deep, and the puck inadvertently goes off perhaps his leg. It'll be a good goal. They may take a quick look, but there's no type of kicking motion here. And our game key of the defenseman joining the fun. One defenseman sets up another there. What partnership from Sakara and Hainsey? Patrick Dwyer with the tip. If it goes right by Hainsey and in, obviously it's his goal. If it grazes Ron Hainsey and they'll take a long look at it, he'll get credit for it. Out of the corner now. Laid here by Victor Rask. Out of the four-man scrum, 7.45 left in this third period. To the point, Harold. His shot negated by Eric Stahl. Skate to stick, Justin Falk in his own zone. Lays it along the wall. The Hurricanes get it out. Peter Harold in control. Broken up by Rask. At the line, Harold by him. His partner's on it. It's Andy Green. And they start again. Patrick Dwyer gets the goal. The first goal in 131 minutes, almost 132 minutes for the Hurricanes as it comes all the way back. Andre Sakara and Eric Stahl get the assist at 11.59 on Patrick Dwyer's goal, his third of the season. Now along the boards. Broken up here by John Michael Lyles. Lyles in control. Back out to center, choked off by Henrique. Here's Ryder. He'll stop. Michael Ryder broken up. A good read by Lyles. And the Hurricanes will attempt to buzz out. Skinner moves it by Gianta. He gets it back. Skinner knocks it down. He walks in for a chance. It rolls off his stick. Played here by Gianta, who angles it out to center ice. i got to tell you, the Canes will take it any which way they can get it. I have to think Hainsey will eventually get that goal. Now it goes deep. Jordan hit by Bernier as they battle along the boards. Rutu digs it out. He'll grind it out in front. His shot stopped by Hudobin. Carolina, Hainsey. Shields away from Gianta. Zidlitsky looking for Rutu, who lays it back. 6.24 left in regulation time. Bernier knocks it out of midair. Steve Bernier to the outside out in front. Just by Rutu. And also by Hudobin. Now it's played here by Patrick Dwyer. Out to center. Two on three. Goes by Yager. Lays it to the outside of John Merrill. Moving up is Chris Terry on Adam Larson. They jam along the end wall and on it now for the Devils is Scott Gomez. Yaramir Yager moving up at Andre Sakara who attempts a roadblock. Sakara plays it well and the Hurricanes punch it out. Corey Schneider now will leave it for John Merrill. Merrill in control through center ice and all the way back. Falk has it and Carolina reorganizes. Andre Sakara with a quick up for Nathan Gerby. Fed along by Andy Green and picked off here by Andre Sakara. They go D to D one more time. Falk off a stick. It goes astray. Harold is back. Gerby is on him. You see it. Stahl tries to make it happen on the forecheck. And now Victor Rask inside for Gerby. Getting to it is Travis Zajac. Michael Ryder off a stick and back out. Captured by Ron Hainsey right back in the zone. Hurricanes want to keep an eye on former Hurricane Tuomo Rutu. He told me this morning that after the two hip surgeries that he had done at Vail, Colorado, this is the best he's felt, even with just one goal to show. And you can you can almost see it in this third period. Ryder off of Lyles. It stays in play. Gianta has the devil's goal. Picked off by Elias Lindholm. Out they come. Redirected pass. Turned back by Gianta. Gianta goes deep. Lyles ahead of Sestito. Sestito in back of the goal, moved by Lyles, played this way. Pressure by Zidlitsky, he's all over Skinner, and now Mikhail Jordan has it for Carolina. He'll move it. Lyles from the corner. Good spring pass for Riley Nash, and away they go. Nash in control over the line. This way for Skinner, out in front, out of the reach of Lindholm, who hits it on the go. It's defended by Schneider and played by Helgeson. They play it along the boards for Sestito, broken up here by Gomez, who spots Bernier, and out they come. Uh, Nash's game coming along, starting at Madison Square Garden, as, as he felt it did, and building is a big part of tonight. Gomez, broken up by Sakara, head of Camilleri. Right up the gut. Little roller with touch. Comes all the way back. No icing. Never made the line. Larson reverses for Merrill. 
Four checked on the play by Patrick Dwyer. His goal is tied at 3.59 left to go in regulation time. Ron Hainsey out in front. They've got a piece of this one after the tip from Patrick Dwyer. We're tied at one. The bottom line is what counts, but we might have a situation here, Trip, where the puck glances off Ron Hainsey. Yeah, you're going to watch his, uh, his knee after. Dwyer gets a piece, and then you look at the right knee of Hainsey. No distinct motion of the kick or the knee at all, and it's a good goal. And you can see the, the poker face of Hainsey. <laughs> I am actually not a, an expert of reading lips, but you know, being uh, being involved defensively on the attack is one of our game keys, and getting to the front of the net, as was a big focus of practice and has been all year, both symptoms are there in that tying goal. We'll see if they change it right now. It stands for Dwyer. It's turned along here by Zedlitsky. Tim Gleason will not return. We have definitive word on that, so Carolina has been and will be down to just five defensemen. Sajak pressures Hudobin who scrambles back to his crease. Rask broken up by Michael Ryder. Henrik, a backhander, fought off. Hudobin, Zajac in control. Out in front, off bodies and captured by Anton Hudobin. Here's the storm tracker and an update on tonight's game keys. Well, really, there are two that are central to the tying goal. And one is paying the, the net front price. Both Dwyer and Hainsey did it. And then the defenseman joining the attack. Sakara's done it all night. And Hainsey, after reading off of Sakara's hunger and ability to keep the puck in, came from a defensive posture in the neutral zone to keep the puck in and support Andre and then go down low to eventually score the goal. Camilleri off the faceoff, goes down. Sakara is on him. Yager dug it out. Eric Stahl hunts it down. Throws on the brakes in his own zone. Just about 17 minutes gone in this third period. Final game before the Christmas break. Lyles now for the Hurricanes. Through center ice by Nathan Gerby. Peter Harold is on his horse. Flushed out a bit by Nash. Andy Green for Gomez. Camilleri on the boards. Pestered by Lyles. Huck is batted down with a high stick. We get a stoppage here with 2.53 left to go in this third period. Well, two teams that are starting to score goals. The Hurricanes have been stingy in both matchups against New Jersey, and they have had no problem generating shots on goal. I think they've taken a big step forward in terms of, you know, getting to the uh, the paint, if you will, here in, in the third period, as they did with a 17-shot third period back in Raleigh, where Pete DeBoer felt New Jersey in that game lost their structure in the third. I think they have to an extent. The Devils done the same thing in this third period. They have changed the goal to Ron Hainsey. His first goal in 67 games. It extends back to January 19th, 2014 against Tampa Bay. So it's Hainsey from Dwyer and Sakara. And the goal scored at 11.59, which has tied it. Merrill with a shot negated. A good block up top that time by Patrick Dwyer. Adam Larson. Headman's the puck to Steven Gianta. Steve Bernier rolls it ahead for Tuomo Rutu. He'll stop ahead of McClemmick. Stolen by Justin Falk. A pinch by Larson. Turning stick, Gianta. Backhander! Squeezing the pad to Dobin. As I said a minute ago, Rutu has been knocking on the door this entire period. Here he gets to the front of the net. Watch 15, we know that number well. And Neither Falk nor Hainsey knows he's there. Gianta, who has the devil's goal, gets it to the front of the net, and it's bouncing. That required a lot of concentration on the part of Anton Hudobin. Very active eyes looking around his former teammate to be able to hold on. Travis Ajak and Victor Rask on the draw. Off the faceoff, Camilleri. Starts again, centers one for Yager. He was defended by Lyles, moving up. Helgeson. Inside again for Camilleri. Yager in control. Victor Rask comes across. Yager stays with it. Yarmir Yager holding onto it, protecting the puck. In back of the goal, getting to it is Camilleri. Mike Camilleri, he'll dangle it to the outside. All the way back, Helgeson, a chip off the stick of Zajac. Goes out of play. Boy, the type of potential down the road for Victor Rask of playing against the other team's top lines night in, night out. 
And he's going to have some good moments. He's going to have some moments that he'll learn from. He'll always learn. I mean, he lost the positioning on Stepan the other night on the McDonough goal. I still didn't think that was the key mistake. I thought the key mistake was Skinner not sorting it out off, off the rush to find McDonough. But this is invaluable for Victor Rask because he is so teachable and he'll become such a better player because of these matchups. Now it deflects in on Corey Schneider. He'll move it with a little bit of hesitation. That's not one of his strong suits handling the puck. And now Henrique lays it along for Michael Ryder. Ryder moves up. Here he comes. He's in. Good poke check by Hudobin. And a penalty will follow. Carolina goes down a man with 1.14 left in this third period. Look at the composed nature of Paul Dvorsky. That's what's made him, among other things, a great referee for many years. He worked game seven when the Hurricanes won the Cup in 2006. Heck of a move from the outside to the inside with the stick of Michael Ryder. As I've said already tonight, he was a healthy extra against Washington here on Saturday night. Didn't like it. Thought he had a good start to the game, then he sort of went away, and now he's reappeared. Ron Hainsey forced to hold the former Stanley Cup champion with Boston. Double power play. New Jersey has called a timeout as Ron Hainsey sits in the box. We'll take a look at the only two goals tonight so far. With New Jersey scoring in the first period thanks to Steven Gianta. Gianta caused a turnover from the stick of Jay McClement in his own end. The, rain, uh, the Devils quickly counter and the puck goes off of Jordan. And then after Sakara, who has had an excellent offensive-minded, hungry third period, keeps a puck in. His partner, Hainsey, supports that. Drives down to the goal line with Dwyer also there. And the Hurricanes tie it by getting to the front of the net. Down to five defensemen, now four. No Gleason, obviously. No Hainsey. So you're going to have to really rotate your defensemen well here because there are only four available on this kill. Third power play for the Devils. No shots with the previous two power plays. Only 14 shots in the game. Merrill hammers one. Great save, Hudobin. Now Yager from the corner. John Merrill at the point. Top of the ring, it's Yager. He's checked by Sakara. It's loose. Knocked out of midair by Andre Sakara. Justin Falk after it. He has control. They kill time early. And, and, and if Hudobin feels it, that was just a, an excellent save. It was going to be very tough to hold on. But with only four defensemen, Hurricanes getting better with their faceoffs as the game has gone along. A whistle when you need it might be key. Camilleri feeds it in. Falk on and off his stick. In back of the goal, Mike Camilleri holding onto it, given a shove by Falk. This way, Zidlitsky. Merrick Zidlitsky holding onto it, turning Camilleri. Wide open is Merrill. Zidlitsky, Camilleri one more time. Holding, shooting one blocked by Sakara. Henry. Now with 23 seconds left, Camilleri asserts. Cradling the puck, Zidlitsky. Camilleri rejected by Sakara. Mike Camilleri goes inside. Out of the reach of Adam Henry. Yager to the outside. Ten seconds left. Now Merrill, point to point, Zedlitsky, a shot well wide. Getting to it, maybe. Yes, it's Yager, off a stick. Two seconds left in regulation time. It pinballs just high and wide. Off Sakara at the horn. 46 seconds left on the manpower advantage. Well, you go back to a big win earlier this season when Sakara got hurt blocking a shot against Nashville in this very same spot. Goes back and pays the price again. Big part of the tying goal and doing it defensively. Watch this puck graze the pipe. They could graze the short side post as the Hurricanes were hanging on for dear life. It was, uh, it looks like it's the shoulder and then the crossbar, not the post, excuse me. Both teams get a point going to overtime four on three to start. We're going to step aside and come back with sudden death overtime. Deadlocked at one at Prudential Center in Newark. OT. Straight ahead. Back inside Prudential Center, the game summary tonight. An early goal from Steven Gianton, the first. A deflected shot. Ron Hainsey gets Carolina's only strike tonight so far. Corey Schneider and Anton Hudobin, the log for the goaltenders here tonight. And we'll take a look at the penalty one more time. And I just want to watch his stick and the use of the free hand. Boy, I, of course I'm an analyst and I'm, I'm afforded two or three replays. I don't see anything Ron Hainsey did wrong there. If anybody used the free hand, it was Ryder as he was rotating his body. I thought Hainsey played that as cleanly as you possibly could. I did not think he was guilty of any type of an infraction. 46 seconds left on the penalty. 
Corey Schneider gets ready. The overtime is sponsored by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Live for the game. Live fearless. We get to four on three here in OT. Open ice for the Devils. Camilleri springs a man. Zajac now Yager. He'll walk it. Drop it back. A steal brought out by Sakara. Jelena is back. Andre Sakara goes to work. He'll deep. Walk it out in front. Shut down by Schneider. Jelena. Four on two. Here they come. Mike Camilleri across for Yager and a good stick deflected out of play by Justin Falk. After a night that I didn't think he had his A game in New York, but not even great body language, Andre Sequeira has shown a tremendous response. He sets up the tying goal. He pays the price with a game-saving block. And now we, we saw an overtime against McDonough and San Luis, a lot of edge work, but not really accomplishing much. Here he has the skating ability, but he drives the net, so all sorts of good stuff. He rolls in, captured by Justin Falk. Ten seconds left in the power play. Zidlitsky. Final push for the Devils. In terms of their power play, Camilleri moving up on Falk. Holding on to it now. Across it goes, Zidlitsky, here it comes! Blocked in front by Lyles, out of the box. Hainsey, all alone with a game on his stick, shut down! Fourth wide, the rebound! Second chance there, shut down by Corey Schneider. Now Hainsey for Riley Nash. Nash goes to work, out in front, Lyles flashing. Up top, it's Sakara. he'll dance, he'll dance again! Time to watch thus far, and we're only a minute and eight seconds into the thing. Let's watch Hainsey come out of the box. Big block from Lyles, and the awareness for Lyles to know the timing of when Hainsey was departing. And hockey's matchup: Hainsey, UMass, Lowell, Schneider, Boston College. Boston College wins not only on that save, but a follow-up bread basket save. A dicey one there on the blocker side. Up the draw now. A false start, and they'll do it again. 3:50 left here in overtime. Shots 33, Carolina, 15, New Jersey. Elias Lindholm and Adam Henrique. One by Lindholm, but played outside the line by Ron Hainsey. Lindholm with Skinner as they cross. Lindholm to the outside. He'll pull up. Lay it back for Hainsey. Hainsey has some room. A wrister. Tip just wide by Skinner. Now Rask out of the corner. Three forwards out for Bill Peters. Played here by Andy Green. He'll circle back in his own zone. Gomez moves it. Merrill gets to it. Hestered by Lindholm. Skinner turns away from Gomez. John Merrill for Adam Henrique. And the Devils have a tough time. And they finally get it out. Gomez is away. Scott Gomez right out in front. Shut down Hudovin. What a move by Gomez. Henrique again holding on to it. Off the skate of Fulk. Henrique sets up Gomez who fans on it. Scott Gomez back for Henrique. Good stick by Rask. Zidlitsky holding. Harold up top. He'll work it down the wall to the corner. Henrik Peter Harrell takes over. Looks to work his former college teammate Gerby, who makes the steal. Nathan Gerby darts in his own zone. 242 left in overtime. Here he comes. Little dynamo over the line, moving up. Gerby in control through the blue and out. All the way back for Eric Stahl. Stahl, hard around it goes. Lyles is lurking. John Michael Lyles. Nobody home out in front. Zidlitsky has it for the Devils. Here they come, through the center zone, Ryder coughed it up. Terry for Carolina. One more time, the Canes bust back. Terry with a shot over the glove hand of Corey Schneider. Back out to the center zone. Andre Sakara, hampered by Rutu. Tuomo Rutu moves it across for Zidlitsky. Moving on Hainsey, he'll go deep. Hudobin got a stick to it. Out of the corner, it's knocked down by Nash. Ryder, a steal for the Devils. Skate to stick, Zidlitsky on the exchange. Tuomo Rutu pulls up. Rutu holding on to an inside, it goes for Ryder. A buck 53 left in overtime. Ryder for Larson, here it comes, easily denied by Hudobin. Played here by Chris Terry. Terry winds it along. Ron Hainsey with 1.43 on the clock. Back out to center ice. Carolina in the process of a change. He feeds it in. Nash can't handle it. Larson deep in his own zone. Sends it back for Eric Jelena. Pressured by Skinner. Nash is alone out in front and never got there. Yager back out. 
He'll lumber through center. Throw it ahead. Falk is there. Younger goes hard. They come together. Camilleri, Mero, Jelena this way. With a shot swallowed by Hudobin. Fun overtime. I love the hockey IQ of Elias Lindholm. He can watch him take a look. He knows he has nobody going to the front of the net. So that would just pretty much be a turn turnover. Instead, he uses the defense, gets a redirection from Skinner, nearly scores. Very intelligent. And Scott Gomez celebrating his 35th birthday. He looks like he's 25 again. He's been a guy that just ran out of everything going to the Rangers in Montreal. But he is back to being a difference maker here. It's, it's tremendous, tremendous. Out to center ice. Merrill, Merrill, Merrill. Good opportunity that time for Jay McClement. Now Scott Gomez, 53 seconds left in OT. The veteran out to center. On the wings, Zajac. For Gomez, denied by Hudobin. It's centered on and off the stick of Zajac. Lindholm rallies out. 42 seconds left. Here's Ron Hainsey. Moving up on green, his shot wide, Elias Lindholm. Scampers after it, getting back to it is Scott Gomez. Out to center ice, a half minute left. Zajac with green, looking for green behind the defense. Andy Green now. His pass detected by Jeff Skinner, who starts his engine. He'll work Henrique forward. Skinner holding on to it down deep, separated from it by Henrique. 16 seconds left in overtime. Zidlitsky in his home zone for the Devils. Through center. Back it goes for Rath, stolen by Yager. Here he comes, Yager turns, out in front, Henrique, Kudobin said no. Yager out of the corner, inside Henrique, at the horn, we go to shootout. Yarmir Yager, who is famously known for his late night workouts wherever he's played, needing a key to the gym at all hours, Really, it was a non-factor in the first two periods, but the game got deeper and deeper. He became a factor. Here finds Henrique. Henrique wins the race to the front of the net. That'll be a growing moment for Victor Rask. And Henrique, who once upon a time in that same spot, scored a goal that put New Jersey in the Stanley Cup Finals, beating Henrik Lundqvist in the Rangers. Anton Hudobin rewarded with a start after playing so well against the Rangers. Boy, huge save at the buzzer. What a great stomp by Anton Hudobin. Solid again. Our next telecast after Christmas will be Saturday night from Tampa, starting with Hurricanes Live at 6.30. Steven Stamkos and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Great to see Stamkos healthy. Just scored his 250th goal this month. And, you know, you look at Hudobin. Boy, it'd be nice to see him finish this off in the shootout. Who are the Hurricanes going to use? Well... To me, there are five candidates to choose from. You look at Skinner, you look at Terry, you look at Gerby, you look at Rask, maybe outside chance Dwyer. They come to their feet. His birthday, 35 years young, Scott Gomez on Hudobin, who forced him wide. So Carolina gets the early edge as Gomez is stopped. They had a shootout here in practice yesterday in front of season ticket holders, and Gomez scored all three breakaways he had. Maybe he emptied the tank yesterday. Patient stop from Hudobin, and he ran out of room, did Gomez. Let's see if Jeffrey Skinner has a little pre-Christmas magic in that stick as he walks in. Shooter number one for the Hurricanes on Corey Schneider. Skinner, dead by Schneider. Yeah, Jeff tried to just open up those legs and beat him with a quick release. Moving from side to side. Well, that was a little, uh, I'm going to give it to you and lure you in and then take it away. Mike Camilleri returning from injury tonight, leading the Devils with 11 goals in regulation. Now in the shootout. It's robbed! What a save by Hudobin, who stacks, stacks. In 2014 NHL. The old stacker textbook. Really power out with that lower pad and then try to get vertical with the top one. What a save. Nathan Gerby. A couple of college teammates from Boston College. Gerby walks in denied again. Corey Schneider. Well, I like the shot selection. Against Lundquist on Saturday, he tried to move to the glove side. 
This is the move I watched him score on twice in practice last Monday. He just didn't get it up as he did in practice on the blocker side. Adam Henrique. It's the third chance for the Devils. No chance. Shut down by Hudobin. Uh, Hudobin determined to get that first win before, pra uh, before Christmas. Patient save, attacking stick save. Look at that stick attacking the puck, and now Terry has the chance to give him just that. For the win, Chris Terry. Three out of five in his young career. Carolina looking for victory. Terry walks in and scores! Hey, hey, what do you say? Chris Terry in the shootout, and the Hurricanes are victorious. Well, he has a heck of a shootout ratio in his career, does Chris Terry. He was the third shooter against Lundquist. He made a move to Lundquist's blocker side, but here he shows that he's got a couple of different tricks in his bag because this was not the same move. He came in with a good amount of speed. Instead of going to the backhand, fakes to the backhand, goes forehand. You never know part of the prep. For Schneider and the Devils was to look at potential shootout moves. Maybe that's why he was leaning to the backhand the way he was, because that's where he went on Lundquist. Here, the unpredictability to give Anton Hudobin his first win of the year. And what a way to go into the break. Hurricanes tying it in the third, and then off of Terry Stick, going home with a big victory in a Metro Division matchup. Final count in the shootout. Carolina gets it done. They win tonight by a count of two to one and pick up that victory prior to Christmas. Two points in the standings, one for the Devils. A thrilling hockey game tonight here at Prudential Center. And that is the final game before the holiday break. So stick around. We will have Hurricane, Hurricanes live coming your way next. Total post-game coverage as the Hurricanes get what they need. The win for Anton Hudobin and the victory tonight in the shootout thanks to Chris Terry. The holidays are all about your family, your friends, the people that mean the most. Be responsible, be safe, enjoy this holiday. And as we leave you tonight, enjoy our holiday card to you, the Caniacs.